which is good. So here's here's my dude, Jan Shamanic, going into the esoteric, bringing us up, up out of the exoteric, and diving down deep into the symbology and the meanings and the underlying feelings, essences. I'm not for sure if this is like a little snippet that he did of a previous video or if it's one that he didn't put up um, until now that he did in the past, but that seems to be the case because he said this was uh, done in the springtime for him and that he was on one of Zen's chats and <laughs> Zen's been out of commission with the with the live stream lately cuz cuz uh he's he's been sharing too much good vibes so i mean they they got to you know they got to make money where they can With the copyright shite. So we'll see where we go with this. Uh, right off the bat, yeah, we'll just we'll just pause frequently in the genius style. <laughs> yeah, the thirty-three is tuning in everywhere. Actually. Now, um. This has something to do with the magic potential. Um, as I'm looking at the video, it says 33 seconds. Again, it's a magic potential. You know, the 33rd degree, the vertebrae, the the ascension, the access. Of of the vibrations of all your aspects of beingness, all the little partitions that make up your beingness. The 33. 3 and 3, 6. What is 6? The 6 is the seed. What is, uh, what, what, are, what are the 3 and the 6? What do you get whenever you triune the six? Six, six, six. You get 18. You get the nine. You get the completion. You get the flowering, the budding of the seed. And this is, this is what is happening. I'm seeing uh, 69 everywhere lately. This is the planting of the seed in the into the into the fertile soil uh, of the mind and having it actually being able to take root and flower. So this is uh, this is what's happening on many levels now. The flowering, the flower power, people. <laughs> Three six nine. Now, you focus on something and manifest. But see, um, the real master is not afraid of sharing anything. And this is what I would like to talk. Um, ah, man, my man. The real master is not afraid of fear. It's the real master has no fear of anything, but the real master knows when to share, when not to share, how to share, and what degree to share. And this is a process. This is something I am constantly being reminded of and engaging um, what to share, how to share, uh, in what appropriateness, in what manner, in what degree. Especially 
whenever there are many people around, then I, I cannot share all that much at all. Unless, I mean, it's, it's going to be just a different, um, a different kind of an expression whenever there's multiple people or a crowd involved. It's going to be in a way where it's There's a there's a bit more levity. Um, there's a bit more. I I don't want to say trickery, but it's 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 it it's presented in a way that people are left questioning because I I want people to be left for the question so that they can find their own answers. I'm not looking to provide answers here if you haven't <laughs> already figured that shit out. I, uh, I encourage people to dive down deep inside themselves and figure out their own answers. But whenever I'm able to have that one-on-one -on -one with, with someone, then um, the layers can dissolve and we can get closer to a reality and a potentiality of um, what is true and the connection and the feeling and the moment but still you have to work with what you are given you have to work with the crowd the people uh, the person uh, and where they are at if you throw too much of someone that's going to put them off because they're not going to put them off because they're not going to understand or understand or overstand what the fuck you're talking about. And we have to recognize, we have to bring into recognition, we have to recog the igniter, the ignition. And realize that most people are brought up in, in a certain way. The indoctrination system has as ingrained within people a certain to have a certain reaction to to truth. So we have to take this into consideration whenever we are presenting deeper level esoterics to people. We have to realize the level that they're at and potentially what they're able to integrate. I like to, <laughs> to test those boundaries and push the envelope and uh, make people uh, kind of blow their fucking minds and, and then also give a little bit of a healing uh, salve or balm to people so that, so that something can stick and so that they can start to be interested and researching for themselves and finding their own answers. Um, to undo the indoctrination that has been done onto them, to, to help them to engage their own inquisitive nature and the childlike mind state of not only just asking why, but also engaging in the moment and feeling into it. Feeling the truth. I mean, this is what it all comes down to. Feeling back into the truth. That's something, that's something each and every one of us has to remember how to do for ourselves. Feel into the real. Now, um, I was on the uh, 
chat with with them at night today, and he had this um, very interesting um, thought that it's like in the law of the rings, you have to keep something to self. Right? You would like to keep something to self and mm-hmm. be like, oh, that's my my precious my precious gift. It's only for me. And gift <laughs> is also very interesting because gift is um, called in, in German, it's uh, toxic or toxic, like the gift. Mm. So um, oh, these people, they try to, to keep something to self. They keep the ring for themselves. And, and also we have to realize that if he if he is saying people, then he is saying uh, the the majority, and that is uh so that's going to be a um, a taught action through peers and parents and in the indoctrination system to behave in this way, to hoard and keep things uh, secrets as in not flower out and this is also a response um, a reaction that happens to trauma to whenever um, a young person a child does share uh, their heart with someone and they are responded to and with um, disdain disgrace humiliation And this happens more often than not. So I just want to bring to the forefront the traumas that everyone has ingrained within themselves. And most do not recognize. And so they do not heal it. This is this is a, uh, a a reaction that happens as a as a as a causality to the to the effect. And I mean, whenever we are young, whenever we are children, our hearts are open and. Um, especially whenever it is our parents that um, they don't know what they're doing first and foremost. They don't realize because the the parents are, are adults. They're they're a, a adult adult. They they have become numb to um, the remembrance of what it what it is like to be a child. They have not integrated their child. They have um, suppressed that child, that inner child, and wrapped it around layers and layers of pain and trauma. And to any being that has done this, all they can really do is is project that because that's that's how this shit works. Is you you project what you are, your, your own beingness. And so, unfortunately, these parents are unhealed children, and so they are projecting and vomiting this vile shite under their children. And the cycle just keeps repeating and repeating. And there's no healing that that's happening, really. Unless the child finally has something happen in their life where they're able to disconnect, get away from the trauma and the suppression and start to truly heal this has also something to do with uh, the following things I'm going to tell you now when you when you were watching videos um, which I produced before this one you know that um, I tried to abstain from salts 
and the souls actually are connected to the realm of Saturn. Right? Saturn has also a ring. Now, <laughs> see, the souls are are pulled around by the moon and the Saturn. Now, if you have, if you're full with heavy metals, if you're full with with salts, Saturn, Father Time, is controlling you. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot there. Um, everything has a purpose, and whenever this this is the scientism and the indoctrination system, um, it dissects a little aspect of the holistic and totality of say a plant or, or anything really a mentality and then it holds that on high and disregards the rest but it's all harmonic and harmonic so you can't just have one piece without all the other pieces because that's I mean you can and this is this is where, why we are in the state that we are in is because we are having like one little aspects of of stuff presented to us and held on high, and uh, forgetting or being led astray and away from all the other aspects of the, of the beingness that that comes into play. And so, whenever whenever that happens. Um, those things are kind of like hidden and occulted, and this is this is why we are in the state we are we are in. We have uh, come up through and out of. We are coming out of now, the the occulted state age. So it's the exact same with salt. It's the exact same with any kind of supplementation. You you uh, you are disregarding all the other pieces of the plant that that play into the harmonics of why a certain chemical, why a certain thing acts the way it does, um, how it affects the human form, the human body. Salt, just like everything else, has its purpose, and uh, if whenever you extract salt from something and apply it, yes, we can season. We we can we can season things and have an art form of um, culinary and and um, you know become your own chef, become your own. Guru, essentially, your own alchemist and your own shaman. So we can season things to taste, and that's you know that's good and well, and then uh, and eventually we we come back into attunement with the body and what the body wants and needs, and we come in, we come back into attunement with. Uh, the feeling, what the body, we come back into attunement with remembering how to listen to what the body needs. People realize there is salt, there is everything that's you already need in the plant material already it's already perfected you don't need to go and add more shit to to it or whatever I mean sure we can add things like spices and herbs and uh, roots and, and ginger turmeric cayenne cinnamon nutmeg whatever you want to add to it add it to taste and allow your taste to tell you allow your experience in the moment to tell you what you need and then you can take it a step further and ferment all of it 
You would have all of them commune within these fermentations. The the bacterium um, it, it makes it so that a, a divine dance happens with with all of these things, even before you put it into your body, and it really starts to integrate. You can apply your own saliva, your own DNA with the ferments, with the bacterium into your dish and you can allow it to sit for, for a while. You can allow it to uh, heat up for a while. You don't want to overheat with ferments. Be careful with that. But say like you just want a dish for the night. You can apply fermentation. You can apply your own saliva in, into all this mix of spices and herbs and whatever food you're using and you can heat it for for a little while and that's when you can get everything talking with each other and communing and combining and especially whenever you utilize your own saliva so it's going to be like already you know perfect and ready for you to 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 ingest and digest and transmute and utilize in a more perfected state. Like the moon. See, and, um, you get pulled to, to frequencies and densities where you where you where you don't like it <laughs> because you're not in tune with yourself. You're, you're not. Yeah, and I mean, uh, pay attention to. It all comes back down to awareness, always. So if you're pulled into things that you don't like, pay attention to why this is this is occurring. Always bring it back down to. Always bring it back to what is occurring inside of me right now. Things are happening outside of me and like it, it's it's getting crazy and whatnot or whatever what is happening inside of me right now how am i responding to this what am i doing inside of me that's allowing this to uh continue forth in my outer experience that is going to help you greatly to uncover and discover why things are occurring on the outside It's going to help you to stop repeating your loop programs, the things that keep happening that seem to draw your attention and distract your awareness away from the beingness, the isness that you are. Using intuition because you can't, because you are, you you can't manifest your own way because Saturn Father Time is dictating you where to go now addiction to salt is very common these days why is that get let me get my chips I have to yes and I mean it's, it's you know, for a purpose uh, the salt the sedimentation the the over the the over collection and it comes back down to a mentality of hoarding your but you we are taught to hoard in, in our bodies and that manifests in our outer world for many people so salt sugar not only do these things break down the body but they feed especially the sugars they feed the things inside of you that are Festering. They feed the things that are over collecting and the salt the salt can help to dissolve these uh, these things, but they can also add 
too much sedimentary material and they can make people too salty. And eventually the body is not going to be able to keep up with this back and forth with, between salt and sugar and uh, sweet and sour and salty and all the uh, polarities that you keep bouncing back and forth from that you're putting in your body. Uh, your body is a miraculous vehicle and system, but it can only take so much. So whenever it gets to a point where it's like, okay, overload, like we need to fucking shut down and recollect, People don't even do that. They don't even allow their bodies to, to have time to rest. They just keep going about their fucking bullshit scripts and loops and behaviors. And so diseases occur. They, they manifest because of this. Yeah, especially it's sweet warm. potato. It's, earth, right? it's 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 a root system, so it, it's good for you. Exactly, the, the tubers. You want you want to engage the tubers and the roots. Those are going to greatly heal your your own tubes, your guts. Oops. But as soon as you put inorganic salt in your diet, in your deity, you get pulled around to to, to frequency to frequencies where, where it's not it's not for you. Yes, and essentially you are uh, you you have dissolved your um, essentially you have dissolved the layer around your beingness, which is your aura, you can call it your auric field, you can call it um, many things. It, it's very much like into a, a shielding. Um, I think of like a plant cell. Um, there's a layer, a bio layer that exists around this, and this, this becomes dissolved by bad behavior, bad thoughts, bad as in um, not serving anything that's beneficial or that stimulates growth or awareness. So these things dissolve this barrier and once that has been dissolved to a point then things are able to reach us um, and start to manipulate us. So this all ties back into diet, the deity, the fact that if you are caught up in any kind of mentality of a diet, you are dying in the sense that you are not living. You are you are uh, encapsulating and dissecting the uh, true essence of of uh, just being. So that's, that's the essential essence of what a diet is. It, it, it's dissecting and causing death <coughs> within the being. Yeah. So also I won't get into it too much, but also uh, whenever you project with the uh, mentality of the moon and astrology and you know things outside of you, this is all you realize that this is all shit that you have been taught. Um, and like I like to say, the proof is in the pudding. You are the pudding, so get to experiencing the isness of what you are. You can you can find your own answers whenever you dive down deep, and you will come, eventually come to realize that 
the uh, the explanations in the ideologies presented to you are very much incorrect. Or they are half truths, or not even half, but like quarter truths. <laughs> Just look around you. You should you should eat locally. You should eat locally for many many reasons. Yes. First of all, adjusting your body temperatures to the to the outside. Now, what kind of season do we have over here? I'll just say real quick, um, with the adjusting your body temperatures, you should not, I do not, and I haven't for some time, use heat or air conditioning. And sometimes it's fucking hell, especially where I live, the humanity gets fucking stupid as fuck. But I have uh, learned to use fans and whatnot. And I allow my body to acclimate, and my immune system adapts and benefits from this. And uh, we're we're not we're not meant to be in places where we have to adjust the temperature of our surrounding so that we are comfortable. This comfort is an illusion. And it is sickening you if you haven't already fucking realized it. What strengthens you is adapt ad adaptation. Allowing your body to go through things. To go through potential extremes in certain aspects and, and engagements. And allowing your body to learn from it. Your immune system is going to strengthen every way, uh, especially if you can just get out of the fucking mentality of um, things being quote unquote poison and you go out in nature and just start tasting things. Start, start being drawn to things that are certain herbs and funguses and plants. That call you that that look interesting and tasting them, not not eating a shit ton because that's when whenever the toxicity is going to be uh, more profound. But even if something is quote unquote poison, which is, which is one of these words that um, is not real, it's not accurate. There is potency. There is only medicine. Because there's potency of medicine. You don't want to take too much of a certain uh, good thing. Because then, then it doesn't become good anymore. Obviously. This is, this is what the essence of quote unquote poison is. You can, take, you can take snake venom and utilize that. For the benefit of cleansing out the, the veins and the blood. People who survive snake bites, as in they freak out, they have a strong reaction, they end up getting uh, medical care, their nervous system is super fucking strengthened afterwards. Think about what snakes are, think about what snakes represent. They're the spine, they represent the nervous system, that's what they act upon. They act upon. Okay, so now it's spring. So what what kind of plants are growing, are growing right now? So did they also Thank have you. something to do with adjusting yourself to to your surroundings? Local plants and lo local trees they only grow in certain times. And for this a reason. Is for a reason. Ah, thank you. This has also something to do with the light codes which are around. Now. Um, so this is like what I said with seasoning, like in in season. What is in season? That is what your body is going to need in the moment in that season for where you're at right then and there.
Realize this, people. Realize why things are the way they are. It's not happenstance. It, it, it's not happening because of a, a thing called evolution. That, that's, that's a word that we have been taught to adopt and indo indoctrinated into believing. Whenever, and, and in replacing the word adaptation. Evolution is, is a word uh, it's, that's fake. It, it, it's, it's hinting at something happening as in a, um, a growth process of awareness and in consciousness. There's no evolving people. This is a de-evolving happening that, that has been placed upon us with this occulting The only evolve that is happening is a realization. It's not evolution. It's a remembrance. There is no ev fucking evolution. Cultivation and, and a culmination of awareness that you are experiencing and engaging. Get out of the goddamn scientism, people. The soon, uh, sorry, the, the soon, the soon, yeah, the soon is very good for you. You should ingest the, the, the sun, the sun, soon. the soon. The sun. But don't uh, ingest the sun with the spoon, right? You should use the chopsticks. <laughs> <use your> <laughs> Bingo. What happens if you ingest something? Bingo. I mean, why would you inject, ingest salt? Is it? See, it. <laughs> if you ingest anything, you are ingesting salt. If you ingest anything, you are ingesting sugar. You are ingesting it in a way that the plant has has taken things. <laughs> has taken the right amounts out of the ethers, out of the essence, out of the all that is in the correct manner for that plant, for a specific purpose. Realize. Realize what the plants are telling you. There are many layers and levels to this, and we can move beyond this into just, you know, ingesting the pollens and the ethers, and that's, that's going back into our true roots, and where many of us are heading. Moving out of the dissecting of nature and realizing the quintessential essence of nature, within and without. Is salt available in your local city? Or at your local area? Forward this a little bit. It's, to not see. Of, it's not of the living system. <laughs> this also bit like the video before I, I, I was explaining to you that I won't argue with people about the flat earth or the shape of the earth if they haven't drank their urine. And I just happened to, you know, to uh, move to this point, which is a point that I wanted to uh, also share in that I am to the point right now is where I will not talk to people about health and uh, nutrition, unless they have done fasting, unless they have done deep level fasting, not just one fast, many fasts, deep level fasting. So, why? Because the purpose is so that they can experience for themselves what happens whenever they fast. 
so that they can uh, rewire their mind in that, wow, I haven't had any uh, kind of nutrition for a while, and yet I am... I have this ultimate clarity and this energy. Where is this energy coming from? Ah, there you're going to start to answer your questions, deeper level questions, deeper level inquiries. So only then can we, can we start to commune. Otherwise, I'm battling. I'm not just battling someone else's uh, mentality and ideology. I'm battling the uh, the whole collective indoctrination and I, I finally have come to realize like I'm not going to do this anymore because I'm not I'm not talking to a person anymore whenever I start to discuss these things I'm talking to uh, the things that they have been brought up in and the things that they want to projectile vomit onto me with the, with the corrupted mentality so there's no use like realize people like whenever you're wasting your time uh the other person's you're just you're just wasting your your energy essentially uh not time just emits like realize whenever you're wasting your emissions Because you just do not under, inner, or understand what the human body is capable of. And I'm just... And yeah, that's, that's what I just said. I, and it's the same with, like, you know, the ship of the earth thing. Like, this ties directly back into cleaning your own system out. And then you're able to see things more clearly without because you have cleaned within so if, if there's no there's really no point in discussing these things with people that have not done their own inner work this is just a huge fucking message here um for for everyone to integrate and realize so thank you jan thank you just for reminding me to share that and reminding me uh, to integrate that and that's fucking gorgeous. But yeah, my phone is telling me it's about to fucking power down, so I'll leave it at that. Um, check out this guy. Just It's, it's fucking beautiful. Uh, he has a lot of energetics and movements and um, a beautiful mentality that you can swim within and realize... Um, the esoteric nature of your reality. So yeah, that, that, that's about it for now. <laughs> I love you guys. Peace. Okay, also something I forgot here is that uh, <laughs> I drew a card, a uh, a card from the Sacred Oracle. So I wanted to share it and read it. What it has to say. The turtle, which is perfect. Oh my, not enough light. Oh, there we go. The turtle, stability, the protection of home, longevity. When the turtle card appears in a reading, it is a sign that you are organically protected by forces you already possess. 
It also brings stability to ventures requiring it. Perhaps this is because it carries its home on its back, the long living turtle represents stability in many cultures around the globe. Turtle Island. A Native American story states that the turtle supports the entire world upon its back. As such, the animal serves as a creation deity. In China, the tradition of Feng Shui associates the turtle with the element of water. It is believed that it offers good fortune and supports the family unit. That's fucking perfect. <laughs> because this, uh, this thing that's happening, we are reconnecting, re-enlivening, re uh, supporting each other in this, uh, kind of awareness that is happening, this cultivation of illumination and a support structure that's happening. This is this is the turtle, the tortoise, the shell. We are building a shell and a bridge and a strong foundation here, people. <laughs> Yes. Peace.